Hello PR, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to prepare normalized defiance moisture index. Basically, normalized defiance moisture index detects the moisture level in vegetation using two bands, one band 5, that means near infrared band, another short wave infrared band or HWIR spectral band. And it is one of reliable indicators of water stress in crops. Not only water stress, we can monitor or determine the field of farm zone with water stress, improve the tree harvest logistic planning, determine the congestivity level in fire prone areas. So, using this NDMI, we can monitor the drought condition in any area, we can monitor the irrigation requirement of any area. Now, I'll show how we can calculate this. Basically, in this case, high value indicate the water log condition and low value here indicate the water stress condition. So here the positive value, see here the positive value is a high value. Blue color shows the high value. So it is a water locked area. And in this case, this area, this is a water stress condition because here the low value. Okay. So we can easily interpret this, how we can use it for drought monitoring. So I'll explain step by step how, how we can calculate, how we can interpret it. So here I have opened another arc map. See first this one. This is the USGS website, normalized difference moisture index. According to this, this is the equation near infrared minus short wave infrared divided by near infrared plus short wave infrared. Right? So in case of Lancet 8, Near infrared band is a band 5 and short wave band that's mean band 6. So we need only two band, band 5 and band 6. Okay. So already I have downloaded Lancet image. Just go to add data and here band 5 near infrared and band 6 short wave infrared. Right. This is my Lancet image. So go to properties. First we have to remove this null value, zero values and select it and go to properties and select this display background value 0 then this black portion will be removed right now we can simply do it using arc toolbox so here using math algebra for raster calculating this is a raster data so we need raster calculator so we have to open it arc toolbox then we can easily use it this equation we can find it in special analysis tool this this one just click over there then we have meta observer this one then raster calculator right now see our equation band 5 this one band 5 minus band 6 then close this bracket divided by again open bracket band 5 plus band 6 close this bracket right you can save it anywhere okay i'll save it here NDMI. Uh, I'll give you name test. Dot TIF. TIF is extension. So you should we give this extension TIF. Okay, save it and just click over there. Not only this, you can use other data. If you want to use Sentinel two, then you have to use this band eight and band eleven band 8 in case of central data, band 8 near infrared and band 11 short wave infrared. For Lancet 4 and 5, band 4 and 5. In case of band 7, band 4 and 5 and 8 and 9, then it would be 5 and 6. In case of Modis data, then you have to use band 2 and 6, right? Already calculated, see, already done. So our result should be minus 1, to plus one like other indices ndmi can only have values between minus one and plus one which makes it very easy to interpret so water stays would be signaled by negative values like minus values while the plus may be indicating water locked right so go to properties here let's change this color right or change this choose this color so negative value mean here water stress condition positive value mean 
here what a lock condition right so see now so this is the water locked area and this is the water stress area now for your research you can use it for interpretation like this in case of minus 1 to minus 0 0.8 it is a bare soil in case of minus 0 0.8 to minus 0 0.6 almost absent canopy cover minus 0 0.6 to minus 0 0.4 very low canopy cover minus 0 0.4 to minus 0 0.2 low canopy cover dry or very low canopy cover weight minus 0 0.2 to 0 that's in mid low canopy cover high water stays or low canopy cover low water stays this is five classes for negative value and here five classes for positive value like if it is 0 to positive 0 0.2 then FRS canopy cover high water stays or mid low canopy cover low water stays here 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 mid high canopy cover 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 high canopy cover that's when no water stress is there 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 very high canopy cover no water stress is there 0 0.8 to 1 total canopy cover no water stress or water lock in there so we can reclassify it into 10 classes right uh, suppose in my case uh, if we reclassify it just go to here symbology and just classify okay so we want to classify 10 but here less than 8 is not there so we will convert into 9 right so okay i'll again choose this so go to classify here according to this class we will we will select like this way more than minus 6 like this way okay point 0.2 interval should be 0.2 right so here see all are positive that's the most of this value are positive okay so maybe one or two class may be absent okay but we will select here 0 0.6 next one minus 0 0.4 next one minus minus 0 0.2 next one 0 next one 0 0.2 next one 0 0.4 next one it should be 0 0.8 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 right apply and okay so this is our real class right we have to change this if it is negative negative indicate water stress condition so we can easily change it like symbology flip this color like this so now we can easily reclassify it here one tab reclass here special analysis tool under this reclass then reclassify so i want to reclassify this image for calculating area you can calculate area in square kilometer or area in percentage so this is a huge study here that's why it's it will take time we have to wait so reclassify ndmi how many classes there probably nine yeah there are nine class and change missing value to no data value okay select it ndmi the class save it click it okay so we can easily prepare the table after preparing this it will help you to interpret your result right so this is our class now go to here properties general you can see this is not projected okay we have to project first okay we have to project first just simply we can do it select it go to properties and i know this coordinate system coordinate system here yeah it is utm yes this coordinate system is okay 45 north so we have to do one thing just select it and data and export data 
So already our data frame in projected frame. If you select here data frame, then it will change. See here, this is raster data. If you select data frame, then it will be changed, right? So I have to save it here, the folder. Then and the MI. Yeah, just select it, just select and add it. And this one you can rename here. Declassify if you want to declassify. I want to rename like projected, right? And save it, right? Now select it. Open activity table. See here the count. Here only eleven, only twenty-two. So basically this class is absent. Here only four. Okay. Now select this. This is table option. So select here this table option and add field and you can say area. So area in meters, so selected float or area in square kilometer we can calculate. So right click over there and go to field calculator. Yes, I want to calculate. So this one based on this count, that's been pixel count. So select this pixel count. Now we need another thing, we need here our flow selected go to properties and see this one 29.29 this is actually cell size so select it now go to open activity table and select here add field yes area changes to float click it ok now Fill calculator. So based on this count, the selected count and control B, this is cell size into control B divided by 1 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, this 3 into K. So this is in square kilometer. So the total area is a huge area. You can see here, right click, go to statistics. See here, total area, count here, total line minimum value maximum value this is sum so this is total area so huge area it is just select copy and again go to table option add field then area percentage okay selected float percentage has been p okay area p now select it fill calculator yes Instead of this count, we can easily calculate by area, area into 100, divided by total area, just click it OK. So this is the percentage. So we will consider only this class, 51 percent, this class number 5, so this is belongs to 55 percent. If you see here, class number 5, so this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 0 to 0 0.2 ever can of recover high water stress or mid low can of recover or low water stress so 0, 0 0.02 so this is ever can of recover so high water stress or mid low can of recover or low water stress okay so we can consider this is also a water stress condition this is also positive but it's also a water stress condition because we generally consider this stress this stress more than 0 0.2 this is a no water stress condition basically we can easily copy this data, just select it and copy select it, right, just open one excel sheet, you can use it for your research like agriculture, job monitoring, okay, for any model, so area in percentage and this one area in square kimi right no need this instead of this value we can rename it value like like this value okay minus 0 0.08 to 0 0.4 like this okay like this Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully, it will help you.
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब मेरे चैनल